Hi guys, it's Carol, Plain Vanilla Grandma, and I am going to attempt to sew a bowl cozy today. <laughs> Casey has been trying to help me. I bet we've been, do you think an hour and a half at this, Casey? I don't know. A long time. It took us forever to figure out how to fill the bobbin, and then we got the thread, we got that threaded all through everything pretty quickly. And then we were missing some pieces. We couldn't find them. And they were, we took this part off to do the, put the bobbin in and they were stored inside that thing. So we found those. Um, it took us a little while to figure out what we needed to do up here, but we got that figured out. And uh, I practiced on an old shirt that this, <laughs> this was the before we got it right. <laughs> Let me find the other sleeve. Uh, <laughs> now that looks better. And whew, we're going to have a tuna fish sandwich and potato chips for dinner. And I'm going to cut my batting and see if I can actually get one made tonight. <laughs> I've cut my batting out. One video I watched said um, just use one square of batting. In the whole bowl cozy and the another video I said uh, so one to your front fabric and one piece to your back fabric so I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do <sighs> I'll be back what Casey's doing is she's got one piece of fabric and a batting on the back and she's measuring it to put a pin in the center of the square on all four sides now I'm stitching a, a line from here to the other corner like I did right here. And so far so good. Except I can't figure out how to, you know, back up to make sure it's not going to unravel. I haven't figured out how to back up, but Casey's looking for that. My needle keeps coming unthreaded, so Casey's looking up what we're doing wrong, that it keeps coming undone. Oh, what we forgot is to make this thing come up so we can put the thread through there. Now we got it. I've got half of it stitched and had the little darts made. I need to trim that off. Casey's going to stitch the other side, but she's getting twitchy, so she needs to go home. When Casey gets tired, she has uncontrollable twitches. Do any of you do that? Okay, we will finish this tomorrow. I think it's going to be super easy now that we got the machine all going. Let me tell you, the sewing machines are made for right-handed people, <laughs> and I'm left-handed. But anyway, this has been real fun. It's going to be super easy. I'll show you the completed thing tomorrow. <laughs> Since so many of my subs told me they also have fibromyalgia or depression or IBS or... A combination of all kinds of things. Let me ask you about the uncontrollable twitches. Um, my youngest son and Casey both have uncontrollable movements. We thought it was the side effect of a medication that they took early on when they were just uh, teenagers. And there are some medications for depression that do cause you to have uncontrollable movements. Um, Casey, there's a note in Casey's chart not to uh, prescribe those kind for her ever again because she had these uncontrollable movements and then um, as she took that medication, they got worse. And so immediately her, her psychiatrist told her to stop it. But they didn't go away. She's had them. She started when she was a teenager, and she's uh, 39. So, and my son is the same way. He started having the uh, really exaggerated movements, uh, uncontrollable movements, and we call them twitches. Um, it's sort of like somebody getting shocked with an electric bolt and, you know, having jerky movements. Um, his are, are worse than Casey's 
and he of course no longer takes that medication either but once they started they're still here but I wonder if any of you have any experience with that okay I'm gonna wrap this up for tonight and we will finish a bowl cozy tomorrow thank you guys for all your support and good wishes and everything else you you guys are just awesome to me I really mean it you guys are really awesome and Casey and I appreciate it okay tomorrow a bowl cozy coming up bye this is really all <laughs> that's all folks <laughs>